This video introduces the functionality of the Reliability Integration Toolkit, or RIT. The RIT is one of the latest developments from ARMS Reliability. It's designed to work with Isograph's Availability Workbench software and supports the implementation of RCM studies into any CMMS or ERP system. The RIT can be launched directly or can be launched from within Availability Workbench using Isograph's Report Plugin functionality. One of the main benefits of the RIT is its flexibility. We can incorporate any of the many modules. The intent really is to make a, an implementation of a maintenance strategy development project as efficient as possible. All of the RIT modules are constructed using a wizard. The wizard quite simply steps the user through the process. Let's have a look at importing some legacy data. So quite simply we select the module, uh, this will start the wizard, we step into the wizard and in this particular case the, uh, the process involves selecting a source file. Source file will contain uh, the information that we'd like to use to construct the availability workbench model. It might be an Excel file, it might be a text file, anywhere where there's a consistent uh, relevant data source we can uh, configure the legacy data import module to those files and have it construct um, directly an availability workbench model. So let's select a file. In this case, we'll select a, an Excel file. We'll, we'll tell the uh, integration module uh, where we'd like it to put the constructed availability workbench uh, model. And we quite simply hit the next button. The tool now will go into those data sources or that data source and select the relevant information as configured and uh, push it into an availability workbench module. We could now, of course, open that uh, model in availability workbench. And what I've now got on the screen is the model that was created from that legacy data import. This model would house all of the information in that file. Let's now have a look at the document generation module. This module is designed to take any relevant task information from the AWB model and place it in a predefined document format. Uh, naturally that document format would we would configure to match uh, an organization's um, a task instruction document uh, format. This might include some, uh, some standard text and naturally all of the task information coming from the AWB model. Again, the module is based on a wizard, so we'll start the module, um, we'll step into the wizard, and in this particular case, the uh, RIT is showing us a list of activities within the uh, AWB model that we have open on the screen, and uh, we can now select which of those uh, documents we'd like to generate. We can select them all, or select none, and then manually uh, determine which documents to actually generate. Uh, we select the next button and the RIT would like to know where to put the documents so we select a folder and we can create a new folder if required. The next button, uh, the RIT is now generating the documents, placing all of the task information from within the model into that predefined document format. Um, you'll see there there's, the, the documents have been uh, created and they would be to a particular uh, document format. In this particular instance of the RIT, final module is a SAP load sheet module. SAP load sheet module is designed to take all of the relevant information from the AWB model, add a maintenance plan, maintenance item, and task list level, uh, put it into a predefined load sheet format uh, that can be imported into, uh, in this case, SAP. Naturally, the load sheets can be configured to any ERP or CMMS system and we can match into existing load processes or we might indeed support clients in the creation of those programs. Uh, in the case of SAP, we might support clients in creating LSMW programs or Z programs to import the, uh, the analysis outputs into those systems. So let's have a look at the mod module. So let's have a look at the module. Again, we start the module. 
That'll open the wizard. We step into the wizard, uh, which in this particular load sheet case jumps straight to a review data screen where we uh, the user can review uh, the information that's been uh, uh, generated from the AWB model and configured and consolidated into uh, the client's load sheet format. The data would be reviewed from here and the wizard would continue on and generate, uh, for example, an Excel uh, flat file or some, um, some text files to the required uh, format to import into, uh, in this case, SAP. If we were actually to step through this wizard and load the data, the final step in the wizard would actually be backloading the uh, information into the AWB module. So in, in this case, we would take uh, back out of SAP maintenance plan, uh, maintenance item, uh, task list group and counter numbers, for example, and place them into the AWB model so that we've got a connection point between the maintenance strategy as designed in the availability workbench and the uh, maintenance plans and items and task lists within SAP. So that's a quick introduction to three of the most common modules that make up the Reliability Integration Toolkit for Isograph's Availability Workbench. The RIT is designed to support implementation of maintenance strategy development work or RCM analysis uh, by making it as efficient as possible in terms of getting data into the analysis that's available uh, in existing systems and then getting the results of the analysis into a CMMS or an ERP system. There are other modules available and if you'd like further information please contact us at Arms Reliability.